hashtag transitions has over 6 million posts on Instagram and as well over 112 billion views on TikTok. The reason is simple. It's creative, it's entertaining and as well engaging. So people love it. Do you even know how to create smooth transition video content? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to share five tips that will unlock the power of smooth seamless transitions in your video with CapCut. Now you can be able to attract more viewers on Instagram or TikTok. Are you excited already? So am I. Let's jump right into the video. This is not a video you want to tune off at any point because... Great. So, and sorry yeah. now we can talk there are several types of transitions that people have done and you don't actually need to copy the existing transitions that you've seen on social media or that is trending on social media so you wouldn't want to tune off at any point in this video because consider this as a free video editing masterclass you'll be able to do any form of transition at all Hey guys, you're welcome to my channel. If this is your first time watching a video on my channel, do make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on notification so the algorithm can always inform you of my fresh video. And whether you're returning or you're new, do make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below so the algorithm can share this video with more people. The first tip is about equipment. I... okay. <laughs> so about the equipment as he was talking about, now there is one very important tool that you must have if you're going to make a smooth transition video and that tool is tripod. You should have been seeing a lot of transitions I've been doing in this video and at the end of the video you're going to tell me how many times I changed clothes or I transited in this particular video. Now a tripod is what makes it very smooth and very seamless when you are transiting because if there is any slight move in your camera, if there is any slight move of the smartphone because someone was holding the smartphone for you, you're not going to get a perfect transition video. So first off, if you do not have a tripod, you are not going to be able to make a smooth transition. All right, the next one is lighting. There is something you must do to get a smooth, perfect transition and that is to lock your focus and exposure. My screen is currently on right now and you can see that I have my camera turned on. All you need to also do, same thing, is to tap and hold, okay? Tap and hold and then you can see the lock, all right? This will enable uh, a fixed lighting on your screen because once you are trying to do a transition and then there is a type of fluctuation in the light you're not going to get a perfect smooth transition and again if you're doing this transition indoors then you need to make sure that your lighting is perfect that is why it is much better you do it outdoors than you're doing it indoors because if there's any move in the lighting all right and you forgot to do the lock of your autofocus and auto exposure then there's going to be fluctuation in the light and you will not get a perfect transition video the third tip is about acting the part if you do not have the corresponding action required for your transition the transition will not be smooth great we're now moving into CapCut. I'm going to show you three important keys you must master in terms of making transition. And I'm going to use all of the transitions I've been using on this video for this particular purpose. All right, now I'm going to be taking you to CapCut and I'm going to be showing you three um, tools on CapCut that you must master if you're going to be making smooth transitions. All right, so I'm going to tap on my new project and I'm going to tap on the videos for the transition to so this video and that video, all right? So next up, we have the video. Now you can see that I'm going to move my hand to the point of the transition. So I want to switch just the same transition you saw to up to this point in this video, all right? So I'm going to switch so you can see that I pinned the clothes, picked the clothes, and now I'm about to release it 
okay so i'm just going to keep it here all right now the first tool or first key that you must master is the split key now the split key is i'm going to tap on the video and then you can see the split key all right so you can see i've split this video and i'm going to delete it all right now i've already changed the clothes and i made sure that the chair i'm sitting on was not moved the tripod was stable and the light was also stable and i also ensured my i locked my focus and exposure now you can see that the light did not fluctuate in any way all right now i'm going to from here switch into this video all right now i'm going to move it to the point where i have already gotten all right so here okay so i'm going to tap on this video and tap on the split and i'm going to tap on the video behind and tap the lead so now we have a video that's going to look like this all right now i'm also going to add something so i you don't notice that there was a transition there i'm going to split at this point and then i'm going to tap speed and then i'm going to tap normal and then i'm going to just increase the speed by like one point um let's just say two all right so let's say two okay then i'm going to move over to this side okay and i'm also going to split the video here okay and i'm going to tap on the video and tap speed and also add a speed up to 2x okay now we are going to have something that will look like this you see you see how fast it went okay you see how fast it went okay so that is the first key that you must master you must master how to split from that video all right to into the video you're transitioning to so by getting this perfectly you should be able to make your transitions more smoother now let's go to the next key okay now the next um button we are going to take the two of them together the first one is the keyframe and then the second one is the mask too all right now this is the first video which i'm supposed to transition into the next all right so i'm going to take it to the end here then i'm going to tap on add overlay and then tap on add overlay and tap on the second video all right so this is the video that i'm supposed to transition into so of course you need to make sure that it fills the screen okay okay all right so you need to make sure it fills the screen so just to make sure of that i'm going to tap on main track and then also tap um, it to fill in as an overlay all right now i'm going to move this video up to the point where it you know um where it matched the video it is transitioning from so to do this i'm going to select the video and i'm going to go to opacity all right I'm going to go to opacity all right so this is opacity so i'm going to reduce it okay so that i can be able to see the video behind so i've messed up the both videos okay so now i can now increase the opacity of this video all right now i said that the two keys that you're going to need for this smooth transition like this one is the keyframe and the mask all right so when i tap on this this is the keyframe all right this is the keyframe now i'm going to come to the beginning of this um video on the overlay and then i'm going to um swipe all the way to get to my mask all right so yeah that's the mask okay so the next thing i'm going to tap is split all right so i'm going to move this button down so this is the feather button a little all right then i'm going to now spin all right so i'm just moving it this way to spin it to you know have a diagonal line this way so i'm just going to keep it right here all right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm now going to tap on my keyframe all right so i've tapped on it and now i'm going to just move it all right to where it came down all right so i'm just going to do this as well okay all right now we are going to now have something that would look like this okay so now just for it to also be really good and there will be no point noticing what happened there i'm going to add a style all right so i'm just going to come over here and i'm going to add a style oh sorry effects okay so the next i'm going to tap on body effects so i'm going to go to uh, i think a stroke 
yeah i think i should see such yeah good stroke okay so i'm going to go to stroke and i'm going to tap on this light dissolve light dissolving hey guys, okay so the next thing i'm going to tap tick all right so i'm going to tap on object and tap all videos all right so i may be a little fast but you might want to just take it slow or at least repeat the video so like i'll be able to get what i'm doing here all right so once i've done this then let's see how this video is going to look like now all right so i just need to move this in this we still need to like put in some um let's put on adjust and then let's add some speed okay let's add some speed all right so now let's see what we have good all right so this is what we now have all right and boom okay so that is the transition now by mastering these three keys that i've mentioned on capcut you can be able to execute any transition that could be trending on social media whether it's the clothes transition or any transition at all and you too can be able to make up yours and start amassing a lot more views on your content all right time for the audience retention test so if you've watched this video to the end i have two questions for you which of these tips have you noticed is the reason why you have not been making smooth transition that's one and number two how many times did i change clothes in this video comment down below and i'm going to be looking at all of them and guess what i'm going to pick out three comments to give a shout out to the people so if you are already commenting make sure you give me a name that you'd want me to give a shout out to on my next video i made a video about how i create my youtube short i'm going to link it over here for you to watch and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel do make sure to hit this button over here to subscribe and with this i'll see you on the next one bye